Hello, this is Dustin with Home Mender, and today we're gonna be doing something you didn't think you could. Working without confidence can be daunting. So if home repair scares you, stick around. I'm gonna tear the roof off. I'm gonna show you how. Let's get to it. Tree branch came down during a storm, and now we've got a hole in the sheathing. I'm just glad it's not raining. So this is an architect shingle. You can tell because you can't see the difference. The other style is the three tab shingle, which you can clearly see. So we need to find out where the edge of this architect shingle is. So we've got this one over here. The number one problem people face when doing home repair is confidence. Sure, I can take it apart, but can I get it put back together? And people love to discourage you. So the idea is to pull out the whole shingle with a three tab. It's a little easier to cut it and, and piece it in. Here's my, the edge of my shingle. So that's where we're gonna pull our nails to. So let's go ahead and tab up the ones above it too. Got your super bar here. Okay, there, there's an edge. We're trying to expose the nails of the shingle and get those pulled. Pull the shingle pull the nails out of the shingle and that way then we can just slide them out so back in my early days i i began working on homes that were built in the 30s so everything was old and hard i remember at this boiler i had a couple plumbers down there and they were trying to get the nut off of a dialectic union these two uh, plumbers tried to to loosen this with channel locks and and couldn't do it all right, after you get your top nails from the two rows pulled, you could just slide the shingle out like so. You push it down and then you can scoop the nail out. So the guy decided to go back and get a pipe wrench and I took the channel locks and I broke it free and it was such a confidence builder for me because I'm just this new home repair maintenance guy. This shingle is ugly, so I want to pull it too. People will love to discourage you. So in order to fix this sheathing, we're going to have to treat it just like a floor. We've got a joist right there or a rafter right here. And so we're going to need to cut it right here. I can see there's a nail holding the plywood down. That means I know there's a line here and then there's going to be another one right here. So I'm going to pull those nails out before I try to cut it. And maybe they loosened it for me, who knows? But whatever it was, confidence. We had this short stairwell that was all humpy. The wall was all just funky looking. And I, I tried to skim coat it and I wasn't told to do it. And one of the guys there was like, oh, you can't do this and that. You can't make it look better. And uh, so I ran the skim coat over it. All right, we used three quarter for the floor, but the roof has got half inch sheathing. I've got like back in the day, old school plywood. But it came out really, really nice. and got compliments from the boss about it. If you listen to what people tell you that you can't do this, you can't do that, that's what it'll be. So now we're gonna slip the felt paper up underneath the shingle. And the reason that it was better is because I tried it. So when people discourage you, now that can hinder your life big time. And we're gonna cut with this roof hook blade. I offered a uh, bride and groom to do their wedding photos. Now we lay the shingles back in. Just as a gift. And my friend told me, oh, you, you're a better videographer. Uh, you shouldn't do photos. You should offer to do video. All right, when I like to nail it off, I like to go above the shingle because the next shingle is going to lay down to this line right here. I like to go above that line and catch the edge of this shingle. And I don't claim to be some big photographer, uh, but since then, I have had photos published. If there's negativity in your life or negative people in your life, you can tune those people out. Then you can catch one a third of the way through the shingle and two thirds. See how the next shingle covers up that nail head. And the last shingle. 
Don't listen to haters in your life. Check this out. Regardless if the guy said I could move the nut or if I could skim coat the wall or even someone told me I didn't have good photos. So check this out. If I would have listened to those naysayers in my life, I may have not have got this uh, major award. YouTube sends me this 100,000 subscriber achievement. Thank you so much, everyone who's watched me and has learned to do stuff. It's because you learn to do stuff that it actually works. So thank you so much. Loving you guys. If this video gave you the confidence to tackle something in your house, watch another one. Check out the e-course. It's helping people master their domain and most importantly, build confidence. So for Home Mender, I'm Dustin. I hope you learned something today. And if you did, don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching.